so William and I are finally going to be heading to the town of Yalapa today and we first are going to be taking an Uber to Boca de Tomatlan and then from Boca de Tomatlan we will take a water taxi to get to Yalapa. It's really cool because the town is only accessible by water taxi and it takes about 45 minutes to get there. But yeah, we're super excited. Um, so we will catch back up when we get to Boca de Tomatlan. So we made it to Boca de Tomatlan. So now we're just gonna try to find where we buy the tickets for the water taxi and then we will be on our way to Yalapa. We just made it to Yalapa and I'm blown away by how beautiful it is here. There's a lot of greenery and palm trees over here. Um, the beach is behind me and then there's like a river right back here which is really cool and I believe the actual town of Yalapa is located back this way. So at some point today we're gonna go snorkeling and then we're gonna go into town and just kind of check out the town but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> the water taxi actually was able to drop us off right where we're staying. We're staying at Garcia Rentals, right here on the beach. So we're about to check in to see what our room looks like. It looked very good on Airbnb, so I'm really excited. Alright guys, so we just checked into our place here in Yalapa. It's called Garcia Rentals. And yeah, come on in. So when you first walk in, of course this is the, it has an outdoor kitchen. It's super, super cute. Um, and then the view here is amazing. We're right on the beach, so the view is stunning. So, so come over this way. And we have the bathroom right here, small, cute, and then it actually has two bedrooms. So this is the first bedroom with a double bed, there's a safe in here, and then this is the second bedroom, and it's the same as that one. But yeah, we really, really like this place. Um, it's a lot more beautiful than the photos on Airbnb. It was about $93 per night, um, so really not too bad um, considering how amazing the view is. Um, so yeah, really, we're really excited to be here. I think we're gonna go do some snorkeling. Um, I get to try out my new GoPro, so I'm super excited about that. So we came across a fisherman who had just gone fishing for octopus. I mean, he must have caught more than 100 of them. One thing that's certain in Yalapa is super fresh seafood.
I said we're gonna. Yes, yours are my favorites. We're from uh, Oregon. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> what a small world, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> Excellent, thank you so much. Yay, it's so beautiful. Such a nice place here. We're just looking for a spot to snorkel. I hadn't been in the water too long until I spotted a jellyfish, then we both saw another one and decided it was time to get out. So we are back from snorkeling and we didn't stay out too long because we didn't want to get super super burned like we both put on sunscreen but um, we both get burned pretty easily. We were hoping to see the octopus like that guy um, was carrying earlier but I didn't see any. I just saw a few jellyfish um, but for right now we're gonna shower up and then we're gonna go get a snack on the beach. We're thinking like guacamole. We're both pretty hungry. We just got to a restaurant on the beach called Domingos and we just got a snack, we got guacamole and then William got a beer. We're planning on going out to dinner later so we're just getting snacks right now. But yeah. I don't know what they put in the guacamole in Mexico, but it's always just like so good here. I don't know. So delicious. Alrighty, so it's about 6.30 p.m. and we're gonna go check out the town of Yalapa. We have access to, or we have a key that gives us access to go through some gate that lets us go towards the city. So we're gonna find a restaurant as well to eat at. And yeah. We came up to the very top floor of the Airbnb we're staying in. And check out the view behind me. Super, super cool. This place is super beautiful. The name Yalapa is actually an old Native American word that means where two rivers meet the sea. The town of Yalapa is really interesting and unique. Um, the streets here are lined with cobblestone. They're really narrow. I've seen a lot of people getting around on like ATVs, I think. 
We just crossed a bridge back there. But yeah, it's very unique. I've never been in a town like this before. We noticed a lot of dogs running around. Of course, that's typical Mexico. Um, but also like a lot of dog poop on the streets. But, but overall, this town is really cute. By this point, we had been walking around for about half an hour and were really enjoying exploring the town of Yalapa. But then we started to notice that the streets began to look very similar. We also hadn't found a restaurant yet and were starting to get pretty hungry. We eventually came across a fork in the road and had no idea where to go. Which way do we go? This way or this way? We're this way. William was saying earlier that it's like a maze in this town and it's so true. It's so cool though. Um, like I was saying before, this is such a unique place. I didn't actually expect that it was gonna look like this for it being a beach town. Um, but yeah, it's like a maze. We didn't know like which way to go earlier. <laughs> There's all these like really cool pathways in this town that lead out to these little like mini lookout points and then you can see the ocean. Super cool. Like I said before, like this place is so different from any other beach town I've been to in Mexico. So was it this way? So yeah, at this point we realized we were lost but luckily came across a couple of Americans that were willing to help us. There's a really amazing restaurant. It's is called... that like the more of the main area? No, no you're in... Like, um... I mean, we can take you there if you guys want to go there, but it's just right here. Oh, okay. Uh, we should find it. So believe it or not, we still couldn't find this restaurant that was supposed to be nearby. So I decided to ask a local for help. Hola, señor. Uh, ¿Dónde está Los Abuelos Restaurante? ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, Los Abuelos. Los Abuelos, sí. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Más. Sí. ¿Ese es donde está ese árbol? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, gracias. <laughs> We've been trying to find this restaurant. We got lost, and this little boy is actually showing us the way. <laughs> Oh, okay. Aquí. Muchas gracias. We finally found the restaurant. Yay! In Sweden, Stockholm, there's like so many. You said in Sweden there are a lot of streets like that. In Stockholm. Yeah. And what you were you put saying? your feet on each side and climb up. <laughs> They're that narrow? Oh my gosh. We made it to the restaurant um, called... Los Abuelos. Los Abuelos. Restaurant. And we ran into some Americans a little while ago and they recommended this place. And it's actually really busy. We've been waiting for like 20, 25 minutes. Um, but we're looking at the menu right now. So they have like a special going on tonight. So. Yeah, and we're both very, very, very hungry. We have not eaten since the guacamole. Yeah, that's all we had. <laughs> that's all we had. <laughs> we finally got seated after waiting like over 30 minutes. Hopefully the food is worth the wait. We decided. The view is also nice. William and I both got the special on the menu, which is uh, chicken breast with shrimp, uh, side salad, rice, and portobello mushroom. So I'm gonna try it out. back from dinner and the food at Los Abuelos was very very good. 
highly recommend it. Everything was very tasty and the presentation of the meal was really awesome too. Um, so, let's see. William is over here. Um, we're both really, really tired. I think we're gonna go to sleep pretty soon because we wanna wake up early to go on a hike. Um, so we'll see if we end up doing that tomorrow. I hope we do. But anyway, this is the end for today. So I will catch back up tomorrow when we wake up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.